I can only upload 10 a day and before YouTube kicks me off. But it starts counting when I can do it. Um, starts counting the time once it's finished uploading. So it took an hour and a half to upload a bunch the other day. So I started uploading at 10, they finished at half 11. Which means that I'd only have been able to start it last night at half 11. I mean, they'd finished at 1 in the morning. <laughs> so I couldn't upload them last night. Streaming this morning, got 10 uploaded today. Then I can only get 10 uploaded at like... When did I start uploading them? I started uploading them as soon as I got all 10 back. Because I did some on different time yesterday as well. <laughs> and I haven't got round to actually sending them through as speedruns yet. But we'll get there. That's crap, that's crap, that's crap. That's quite cool. That's the same as that. So that is the same as the other one. Except that one's got a tiny little red trim. Well, let's go with the Polish flag one. <laughs> Oh, one's got wheels. I don't even look at the wheels. Okay, it might be Indonesian flag. I can't remember which way round it is. Bastos? Fucking no. I don't know these teams. It's red and white. <laughs> Ah, cracking cigarette sponsors. Love to see it. We're now in the age of gambling sponsors though. For sure. Which I'm definitely waiting to get uh, relegate, uh, relegated. Preferably relegated, but also regulated gambling sponsors on on certain shit although I do think it will be interesting to see the argument for certain video games because the argument has been made with uh, Counter-Strike it's an 18 plus game, so surely advertising 18 plus content is okay. Now knowing that a large part of the audience for Counter-Strike are not 18, let's face it, but also in the UK the uh, and the US I think, but definitely in the UK the regulatory like the ESRB rating is advisory. Most physical shops will have a requirement that you be over 18 to purchase an over 18 game, but it's only an advisory. Unless it's adult content, I think. Like the actual adult content one that just means pornography. But yeah, so most shops will have a requirement, but it's no. No illegal thing. 
in the same way I'm pretty sure that it's like it's not illegal to show a, an, an 18 video to an under 18 person porn again different but it's just that Blockbuster ain't gonna sell you one or let you rent it so it'll be interesting to see where that goes with that argument but I think if they crack down on it hard enough it'll own the only people that can make that argument are going to be the CSGO only teams because the orgs that have um, how's that going to work? I'll think about that in a second. The orgs that have multiple teams in other games aren't going to be able to make that. Like if you've got a FIFA team, you're not going to be able to say, okay, we can't have a gambling sponsor, but we can have a gambling sponsor. Go first person, just install. Are we allowed the mod? Is that. You're going to get them back, <laughs> is the problem. You're going to get them back pretty much whatever you do. I just give the points back half the time. Oh, that's a good shout. Uh, is it HUD? Camera. Of course it is. See, you've said 100%. But I don't think that's fair. Because we used to, yeah, we used to play 100% camera rotation. That was normal for us. Okay, we can only go temper. Jesus, wept. I watched some of the, um... Jesus Christ. I watched some of the, um... What, what's it? Uh... This just makes the car feel like... God. I would, to be honest with you, I would rather this just didn't have any rotation at all and just stayed fixed. I think I need... Yeah. Yeah, I need as, as far away from the car as possible. Being full follow cam like this. Yeah, they were driving with this camera in the videos, and I was like... It looks like art. It looks very artsy, doesn't it? It looks very artsy. The problem is, I have to watch the car at all times. Because the nice thing about infinite camera rotation is that you know what the car's doing while you're looking ahead. If you know the car's fishtailing while you're looking ahead where you're going. Whereas you've got fuck all idea what's going on here. Imagine someone decides, do you know what, I'm getting into Art of Rally, I want to speed run one of the 12 track categories. And I really like Rain, and I like Group S, and I like Japan. I'm going to speed run that one. Let's have a look what the world record looks like. Oh, there's only one guy that's done it. Oh, it's that guy that's done all of the tracks. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It just jumps in and fucking sees this shit. Yeah, this is, this is the strategy, my guy. If you are that guy who just wants to speedrun this category, this is the strat, the best way to play, uh, the best way to play Japan. Zero camera rotation. Maxed out camera. Yeah. I've got to be the first person to technically say... The, the problem is saying, well, how far are we? Three. Turbo could absolutely start playing now. And if I continue racing like this until the end, guarantee you he'd finish before I manage to. 
could practically download the game. <laughs> as soon as he says that, and then there's Turbo has opened Art of Rally. Yeah, I'll be totally unrelated. Oh, fucking hell. Ignore that car alarm. See, we won't know if Felix actually tries it, because he's not got... Uh, I'm not on his friends list. <laughs> I know which car it is. And unfortunately, it's a recurring thing that that car's alarm goes off uh, in the summer. Go a couple of doors down. Car overheats. This is actually really cool. As much as it's not fast, it does look very cool. But at the same time, if I wanted this kind of camera angle and this kind of play style, uh, I've got absolute drift on my phone. I can't see! I literally crashed into something I can't see from this camera angle. Jag that got melted in London? No. It's proper fish steer stuff, this. Nope, I don't know the walkie-talkie building. Alright, oh, yeah, I think I know the one. Bastard. The bloke I cycle with was um, talking, he works in automotive with, uh, I think, BMW maybe? Someone. Works with cars. It's quite funny because I know the car he drives and it's not like a super fancy car. Everyone, ex all of his, fa he said all of his family expects him to have like a really fancy car. And he's just got like a generic shit. He, he just drives a shit box. His bike's super nice though. He, he actually follows the rule of your bike must be worth more than your car. Which is... At one point, a few years ago, it was actually really difficult to do because bikes, bikes then jumped up in price. But car, when car prices went up in like 2015, what well, your bike cost more than your car. But anyway, he was talking about a mate of his that he worked with. He went for it. He got a new car. Went for an all cream interior, lovely cream interior. This car. And he put a box of coke, like a, a 24 pack of coke, popped it in the boot on the parcel shelf. Hot day. Hot day. Fucking boom. Yeah. Just exploded everywhere. Like, fuck. That's... Rip that guy. F to that guy's cream interior. And all I hope is that he managed to get away from anyone who may have said any, um, like, cause can you imagine his kids are like 14, 15, something like that, or even older. Oh, where now? The, the sort of age where you're going to tell the kids you can't, you definitely can't eat in the car. 
but then you then that happens and you're like oh so I, I can't have I can't have a McFlurry in the car then dad because it'll cause such such havoc to these what colour are these suits again <laughs> <laughs> You've just fucked up that badly, and then you all, all you get are some sarcastic kids. I'd be that kid, hundred percent. I'd be that kid. Yeah, you can't come back from it. Can't come back from it. On my old bike that my mum now rides, it's a white bike, and just where the bottle cage is, it's getting fainter and fainter over the years. But there's a stain of red, uh, red squash, black currant squash, because it's you know your bottle's at a 45 degree angle, the lids aren't perfect, it dribbled out, and then I never washed it. So it just stayed there and it's literally stained through the paint somehow, through the lacquer. And it, it's just stayed there. And it's only it's just slowly but surely fading off. It's taking such a long time to do. Managed to do a full 360 with the car never getting faced the other way, the camera never moving. We're going to get to some of the really tight hairpins and it's literally going to be driving backwards half the time. Like some of the sets of hairpins. This just isn't going to turn around in time. It is fun though. It is good fun for shits and giggles. But the hardest part is I've set the camera like this. I cannot look ahead. I have to watch the car at all times but like I'm bad for watching the car at, at normal times and not watching where I'm going but I literally have no idea where the car is there's no feeling to where the car is and because I play with rumble off I don't even know if I'm on the track or not I can't feel when I go off the track Madness, you're evil. I'm trying to decide whether to be done with this Saturday night or Sunday night. I can grind it to be done Saturday night. But I'm away. I'm doing. There's a long bike ride Saturday, so I probably won't be back till like two, three o'clock. Probably won't start streaming till the evening. And it's like I could finish it Saturday night. the tr The trouble is, when I wake up Sunday morning, if I've got two left to do, because I'll only have two countries left to do if I do. But like, I'll still play some Saturday. I'm not gonna want to wait all of fucking Sunday to finish the job. I'm going to want to get it over and done with way too much, so it's probably worth doing it, just grinding them out Saturday. 
or pushing for more today and tomorrow so that Saturday today tomorrow and Friday so that Saturday is less because yeah with an insane push I can get this done already I said oh, it's 30 days if I do it two a day and it's And then I've been doing, and then I was like, oh, I could do four a day. Now I'm doing eight a day. It was like four a day makes it this. Now I'm doing eight a day, and now I'm like, fuck it. Eight a day ain't even that bad. We'll do even more. We'll just push. The other thing is how long it's going to take to take all the screenshots, though. Because that's going to be pretty, uh, pretty long range, taking all the screenshots. And if I've missed any or got any that have gone to local times, then I'm going to have to rerun them. I've already decided that. And if I have any in Group B, then I'm going to be rerunning them with the... Uh, what's it, car? Um, the van. I can actually see the bottom of the table, like the spreadsheet that I've got for the for keeping track of them and for figuring out what to call the video title with the, the correct numbers of each one. The spreadsheet I've got for that, I can see the bottom of it now at a font size. Like a, a zoom in on the spreadsheet that's actually legible for the, for the text. Once I'm done with group S, it'll be like what it'll be normal because one group fits on the screen perfectly fine. is kind of nuts. That's the end of that bollocks. <laughs> Changing this on the next track.
It feels so weird. If I worked out how to mod this game, I'd probably make a troll mod that forces camera rotation like that. Never worked out how to mod it, or how to compile the mod at least. I think it, I would have been able to do it, but I just couldn't figure out how to set up the environment. The actual code is the easy part of that sort of thing. It's setting up the whole environment is the hard part. And you can't like do it step by step either. You have to just get it working. You could get it working with a test mod if you wanted to. But it's as hard to get it working with a test mod as it is to get it working with the proper mod that you know works anyway. Uh, fair play. What's the 24 hour race in? Real karting or... Fucking hell. I need to do karting at some point, but it's a pain in the ass to get to the place that's a karting track. It's like, there's one near me that's perfectly within cycling distance, other than the fact that it's on the side of a major highway and you're not actually technically supposed to cycle down there. But also it's like stupidly expensive to rent the carts to the point where it's like, I'd be better off after, I think it's like, it's like 45 or 50 quid for an hour. I'd be better off just getting a car. I wish there was more, um... No, it might... That might be wrong then, if that seems cheap. They're not, these are like party carts though as well, they're not super fast anything. Uh, it might be half an hour then, yeah. What? However long it is, I based it off the fact that for, like, per session, if I, that that's like an insanely expensive hobby. I can get a lot of bacon sandwiches on a push bike for that. I wish there was RC car tracks near me, because I love racing RC cars. 
but it's kind of shit to just bash him around in the street on your own and then crash him into a brick wall and break him. Like, I've got a really nice RC crawler behind me. I've got a fairly nice RC uh, buggy at my dad's. But I barely ever use either of them. There's a couple of good places to go crawling around here. Oh yeah, you take the take the buggies down the trails. Jumping the RC car at the BMX track is great. It's the perfect size for it. That and the small... Depending on what you've got, the smaller tracks around the side that are for like little kids to practice on or for you to just sprint and get speed if you're on a, a big bike, you just kind of roll over it. Those tracks, if your car is not very fast, but it will take the big jumps. Most most decent cars will take the big jumps. But those littler jumps around the side that you don't really get like Olympic sized tracks. But there's a, there's a few of around where I am because we like kids to learn without falling over backwards on the balance bikes. Um, they're like actual RC car, 16th scale RC car track sized jumps. And other than the fact that the lips are the wrong shape, because they're not actual lips, they're like, just kind of mounds for rolling over, they're pretty sick. And for crawling, there's just a bunch of bits in the woods, there's uh, across the road from me is a big, big water balancing pond for rainwater, full of rocks, and you just crawl over the rocks and then climb up one of the gullies and it's great. Plenty of places. When the river dries up, that'll, that's a good place to go when the river dries up. And the nice thing about the crawler is that you don't need, like the the basher I've got, the buggy, take that out 15 minutes later the battery's dead because you've got it flat to the floor the entire time. Because you're either on the grass and you have to be flat to the floor to get any speed out of it because the grass is too long. Or you're on the road and you might as well be flat to the floor because there's nothing to avoid because it's a road. So you just toast the thing in 15 minutes and then you got to wait like an hour and a half for it to charge. So I probably need to get new batteries for that. But the crawler, the crawler's pretty good. I'm glad I got a small one, like a really small one, because it fits in a rucksack. So I can just throw it in my rucksack, go for a walk somewhere that's got places to crawl, chuck it down, da da da, pick it up in the bag, come on. Rucksack. Rucksack, backpack. Nah, loads of Brits say rucksack. Mate's asking to discuss the 24. Why does that mean that they're high? Is this a mate that's got absolutely nothing to do with it? Because I'd be slightly worried if you've got a mate who's supposed to be driving with you who doesn't uh, who who wants to discuss it only because they're high so I've been thinking dude what we need to do is gas it from the start yeah this is kind of the plan fuck how many laps is that going to be though like is it a bigger karting track than normal Or is it like a car? Because the last time I went karting for a mate's birthday, I think we did 20, like 20 laps. 
Ah, oh, fair, a couple of kilometres. Full size track. Yeah, still hundreds of laps. But, like, that's, pre that's pretty scale, I guess, compared to, you know, any sort of normal. normal sort of racing track fuck I'd love to see them racing go-karts it wouldn't work actually uh, it'd be pretty rough but uh, there's a bike track near me like circuit road road circuit it's one kilometer on the long way round I'd love to see them racing carts. It'd be pretty tight, but you could get three carts wide. Um, like bumper to bumper. Oh yeah, you can get carts. Yeah, carts going long enough. It's fine. Most carts you could probably just bump an extra fuel tank on anyway, because the fuel tanks are normally pretty exposed. Most of the carts that I've seen. I want to do lawnmower racing. I was who was I discussing this with? I was discussing it with a mate. Uh, we we were going to get a lawnmower and go rag it. The other thing I wanted to do was take a um, mobility scooter and soup it up. Get like a crap old mobility scooter. Keep it electric. And just like rip the bollocks off of it. The only reason I wanted to keep it electric was because you could just you could keep it sleeper. There's no way you're sleepering round. You know, you, you could totally just like pop to the shops on the on the electric. Just have a switch on the on the motor that switches it into low gear mode and it only does like five mile an hour tops and you could quickly pop to Sano's and then fucking come out of Sano's whoop pop it into high gear Vroom. around the car park Can you imagine pulling up to a, um, a a petrol station? Going, do you have leaded four star? What do you need leaded four star for? My mobility scooter. <laughs> leaded four star for my mobility scooter, mate. Have you got any? <laughs> My nan's outside, she ran out of petrol, can't get home. <laughs> That's the thing, I don't, like... Cars don't really interest me that much. I enjoy them in this game because it's a game, but 
the reason I enjoy Art of Rally more than any of the other Rally games is because like cars aren't that interesting. But souped up little shitboxy type things. The, the the cars that I like are souped up shitboxes. I don't know if you've seen Dank Pods, the um, doing like fucking Nugget Lucky Dip and shit like that. And then his car channel Garbage Time. But he's got this little uh, fuck. What's it? A Nicky, something Nicky, not louder. Um, little fucking Eastern European Polish shitbox. It's got a lawnmower engine in the back. He's had it running off of white spirits and like all sorts of shit from the from the shops. It's the engine is mounted on rubber gaskets to allow it to to like go and rattle around all over the place. And it is the most fuel efficient and economical thing because it weighs about as much as a motorbike. And it's got a motorbike engine in it. Fucking one cylinder. It was hilarious because he redid the tests for his economicalness. And it was like, okay, so it's one in the city where you're doing like not much. But the highway, surely it can't win on the highway. The top speed of this thing is 100 kilometers an hour. I'm going to be ragging it full speed on the highway the entire way. It is not economical to rag this thing at top bollocks the entire way. And it still came out on top. Spoiler alert. It, it won. Because there's no getting round it with aerodynamics. Weight is, is where it's at in terms of economical... Uh, efficiency once you've lowered the weight a ton yeah start going into aerodynamics but also it's probably pretty aerodynamic because it's tiny it might be a box but it's fucking tiny it's got no fancy bollocks one key part it doesn't have a radiator or if it does, I can't see the fucker. The engine is in the boot. So, I don't quite know if it's actually got a radiator. I think it just doesn't get hot. Or it does get hot. And it doesn't matter. But it absolutely whooped the ass of... A perfectly cromulent. What was the second place was a car deemed Mum's Nug, which is just his mum's car, and it was. Uh, it's just like a perfectly normal car, but fairly modern with sort of good features and good, good fuel efficiency type stuff, like you know, top of the range. But it's heavy because it's got safety features. <laughs> But that's the sort of shit that... They're the cars that I actually care about. Absolute bangers. Still wouldn't want to drive one, because it probably is about as much... It's probably about as much physical effort to drive the damn thing, with no power steering and how slow it is, and ragging the tits off of it. It's probably about as much effort as riding a bike.
Shit. Uh, no. I've not seen any. Is it new or old? I definitely haven't seen it if it's old and I haven't looked on YouTube. In, I don't know. I think I'm too slow to you. I'm pretty sure I am. I may have just missed it. Send me a link on Discord, I'll look for it later. It'll probably actually make me faster because I am absolutely dog shit at this game and have practically no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> To be fair, you'll probably be surprised because I made a really in-depth beginner's guide for Zenotic. Um, and there were a few few people who've played for long enough that saw, watched it through because we were asking everybody to watch it because we knew we were about... Like, YouTube really likes long watch time at the minute. So we just, I, I was like, please, everyone who knows how to play this game, please watch because... We're going to destroy the watch time by sending people and telling them only to watch really small parts of it. By going, this is the part you need to learn. You can skip the start because you know how to move. But <laughs> you, can skip you can skip the first 10 minutes because the first 10 minutes is how to open the game practically. Congratulations, you're better than that. You're here. 429. Right. GG, cheers Turbo.